Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to show you 4 ways to fix iPhone black screen problem. If your iPhone screen is black but still on then you don't have to worry. In this video I am going to show you 4 different ways to fix it with and without erasing your iPhone data. So make sure to watch the video till the very end and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix the problem. And also if this video was helpful to you by any means then please give it a thumbs up and also share the video with your friends. Sharing is always free guys. It doesn't cost you anything. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, before we start the video, let's talk about why an iPhone gets on black screen of death in the first place. Well, there might be two reasons. Number one, your iPhone might have a software issue. Number two, your iPhone might have a hardware issue. If your iPhone has a software issue, then it can be easily fixed by any of the following methods that I am going to show you in this video. And on the other hand, if your iPhone has a hardware issue, then at the end of this video I am going to give you some advice to get your iPhone fixed. So now, let's start the video with the first method. As you can see here I have an iPhone X with black screen problem. The problem with this phone is, this phone actually turns on but nothing shows up on screen. For example, when I connect the iPhone to computer, my computer detects the phone but nothing shows up on screen. Our first method is force restarting your iPhone to fix the problem. If you have an iPhone 8 or above model, then the key combination is pressing volume up, volume down and keep pressing and holding the power button. Just keep press and holding this button. If you see the Apple logo appearing on your screen, that means your iPhone is fixed. As you can see, my iPhone is restarted but nothing shows up on screen. If your iPhone is iPhone SE or from iPhone 6S family, then the key combination is different. The key combination is pressing and holding the power button and home button. Just keep pressing these two buttons, your device will turn off and again if you see the Apple logo, just release both buttons. If your iPhone is iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, the key combination is pressing and holding volume down button and power button. Just try this method by yourselves, if it works, great, if it doesn't, then skip to the next method. Our next method is using a third party software to fix iPhone black screen problem. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer with active internet connection. After that, you need a software called Dr. Phone System Repair iOS. You can get the software from the link given in the video description below. This software is also available for Mac users. So just go ahead download and install the software. Again, link will be given in the video description below. After installing it, just open it up. This is one of my favorite smartphone management software. This is specially designed for Android and iOS users. With this software, you can do a lot of great things like you can recover any kind of deleted files from your iPhone and Android devices. You can transfer data from your phone to your computer or vice versa. You can also transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android using this option. Alright. In order to fix iPhone black screen problem, click on this option. This software gives you two options to fix your iPhone's problem. The first option is standard mode. If you try to fix your iPhone problem using this option, then it will not erase your iPhone data. If you select second option which is advanced mode, it will erase everything from your iPhone. So in my case, I am going to go with the first option because I do not want to erase my iPhone data. Alright, the next thing you have to do is to get your iPhone into recovery mode. This software gives instructions for every iPhone models. So just get your phone into recovery mode by following the instructions provided by the software. In order to get your iPhone into recovery mode, first of all, connect your iPhone to computer with USB cable. Next, just follow the instructions according to your iPhone model. So as you can see, my iPhone was already in recovery mode, so my computer detected it immediately. In your case, the situation will be different. So all you have to do is get your iPhone into recovery mode by following the instructions given by the software. After getting your iPhone into recovery mode, the next thing you have to do is download latest version of iOS for your device. You can either download the firmware by clicking on this start button and it will start downloading the firmware to your computer. 
And the next option is downloading the firmware through a web browser. If you want to download the firmware through browser, just click on this download option and it will start downloading the firmware automatically. So I already downloaded the firmware, so I'm going to select it. After downloading the firmware, you will see this screen. Now all you have to do is click on fix now. After that, the repairing process will begin. During this process, do not disconnect your iPhone. Just leave the software do its job. After repairing process is completed, if this software comes up with this message, here it says repairing of the operating system is complete, that means the software has successfully fixed your problem. And also that means my iPhone is already fixed. Now all you have to do is unlock your phone with your passcode. And also this software was supposed to fix the problem without erasing my iPhone. So now let's see. Alright, first let me trust the computer. Now let's see, do I have my photos? Yes, I do. As you can see, all my photos are there. And also, here are all my apps and my messages and everything is there. None of them are touched. Okay, before I show you the next method, there is something that you should know about the software that I used in this method. The software I used in this method is not free, you have to purchase it. I'm not going to engineer on top of you guys. But the question is, would you purchase the software to fix your iPhone's problem? Let me know your answers in the comment section below, I would love to hear them. So now, let me show you the third method. Our third method is restoring your iPhone with iTunes to fix your problem. Remember, restoring your iPhone with iTunes will erase everything from your device. If you want to fix your problem without erasing your data, then watch the second method. If you are okay with losing your iPhone data, then keep watching the video. In order to restore your iPhone with iTunes, first of all, connect your phone to computer using USB cable. Next, get your iPhone into recovery mode. In this method, I am going to use my iPhone 6s as an example because I did not back up my iPhone X yet. But the process is same, you don't have to worry. After connecting your iPhone to computer, the next thing you have to do is to open iTunes. Next click on restore. After that click on restore and update. And iTunes will start downloading the firmware for your device. So I am going to cancel it because I already have the firmware. So I am going to restore my iPhone with the firmware that I already have. In order to do that, just press and hold shift from your keyboard. Next, click on restore iPhone. And it will allow you to restore your iPhone with the firmware. After that, the restoring process will begin. Now, during this process, do not disconnect your iPhone. Just leave your iPhone as it is. Okay, once the restoring process is completed, now all you have to do is set up your iPhone as if it's brand new. Now I'm not going to show you the setup process because I assume you already know that. I will do it off camera just to save your important time. So yeah, that's how you can restore your iPhone with iTunes. Our fourth method is contacting Apple. If you already tried all the methods shown in the video and none of them work for you, then your iPhone might have a hardware issue and there are two ways to fix it. Number one, take your iPhone to a repairing shop. Number two, contact Apple. I recommend you to contact Apple before taking your iPhone to a repairing shop because most repairing shops do is they replace original parts of your iPhone with the fake ones and obviously you don't want that, right? So that's why I recommend you to contact Apple. And there is an easy way to contact Apple. Just go to Google and type Apple Live Chat and you can chat with them and get your problem solved instantly. So there you have it guys, that is how you can fix iPhone black screen problem using these 4 methods. Please let me know which one of these methods worked for you. And also, if you learned something new from this video then please give it a thumbs up and also share the video with your friends. And if you want more videos like this in the future then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Peace.